Welcome to another episode of Santor Snakes. On this episode, we are going to first do a dry fit of all of our pieces for Wiz's new enclosure, and then we will be moving into actually using some of the spray foam and start locking in some of those pieces. Thank you to all who like and subscribe. Now, cue that intro. Just in case you didn't see the previous video, this is a 36 by 36 by 18. It is the extra tall, large from Exoterra. Yes. We're going to start off by putting this in the terrarium where we think it's going to go. Way over here on the cool side. Okay. And then we're going to put this on top of it, which will of course elevate it off of the ground. And with these sides exposed, he'll still be able to get in underneath. We're going to be using probably this half of another flower bucket and just cutting it all the way around, putting a hole in it, and that will be a hide on the floor level on the cool side for him. The next thing that we want to do is take all of these cool pieces of cork bark and try to get a general layout. Where are we going to put all of these pieces? That is a great idea, Carter. So we're gonna probably put a little bit of um, expanding foam, just a little sh in each end, just so that he can't go in there and get stuck or hide from us if we need to get him out for some reason. Mm -hmm. Great idea. anything to the waterfall feature because we're going to need to take that out periodically and clean and disinfect it. It's going to need to get that water replaced just like any other source of water. So uh, we might be able to go something a little higher, but we need to leave room to make those adjustments. And then we can put the window on one of the sides. Okay, that sounds good. I think that looks good. We've got a bag of a bunch of other just really small pieces yeah. that we can just kind of randomly place Ta -da! around the back and maybe some on the sides. I think, but I think it will look fantastic. Yeah. Okay guys, so we've done our dry fit and I think we will be coming back to you in about two seconds wearing clothes that we don't care about yes. ready to spray foam. And this is probably going to be on its back. Also, good point. It's going to be much easier for us to use the spray expanding foam and stick things to the back if the back is down. Yes. And we're back. We've yeah. got some pieces kind of dry fit where we want it. We have shaken up our cans of great stuff, Pond and Stone. Yeah. And of course, we're wearing gloves. Thank you for the tips on wearing gloves and wearing clothes that we don't really care about. Yeah. We feel like that might be super important. Yep. Okie dokie. So we're going to start by just kind of covering the back, whole back in a nice thin layer. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that, that's 
I can't hear you. What? I just broke my handle. <laughs> oh no. Alright, friends, it looks like I'm kind of already running out of. This guy get locked in. So, running into issue number whatever this is. What? With them not wanting to stay upright, even with the phone kind of supporting it. It's just not setting fast enough, or it's not thick enough to support it at all. Just making more of a mess. All right, guys. So it obviously looks a little different now than it did a second ago. Yeah. Uh, this is a, a little harder than we thought, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> we have already went through one can. That can is sitting there, and we only have one that we can use besides that. Right, so we only bought three cans. I'm thinking we're going to need probably three more cans. Yeah. But uh, if I think that we only need three more cans, we probably need like six more cans. Yeah. <laughs> but the the foam is not expanding as much as I thought it would, yeah. which is kind of a good thing because that means we have better control. Yes. Um, it's not as firm as quickly as I thought it would be. Uh, so that can that's sitting in there is maybe half full maybe a third full yeah. and it's kind of holding that big main branch in place until it solidifies. I think that's going to be Wiz's main hangout branch because it's going to be up close to the heat source. Yes. We've got that other um, that other piece on this side that was so crazy to try to get to balance and stay in place. Um, other recommendations if you're going to be doing this um, make sure that you can get all the way around the enclosure. Don't do the silly thing that I did and put it up against a wall because you're going to need that top area in order to get to places easily and quickly. Uh, you are also going to want to put a, a cheap towel down or some kind of uh, sheet. I think because just like you're wearing clothing that you don't care about, you need to not care about the surface that is underneath the enclosure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the next thing we've got is our squared off flower pot that we are going to cut the sides off of. Yes. And I think while we're waiting for these things to dry, we'll go ahead and cut these sides off so you can see what that looks like. And then we're going to uh, spray foam on a couple of pieces. Yes. So I put these blue marks on so I know exactly how far to stick this on because it needs to be up against the glass. I don't want it too far out and then it not fit in the enclosure anymore. So that's just going to kind of mark where those pieces go. And then I think we'll put that piece on there as well. I don't know if you can even see that. There's the other piece. And then Carter had a cool idea to take our slingshot piece and maybe we can kind of wedge that in between and have that hanging off. And then that's just something else that Wiz can kind of climb on. Yes, and are we gonna use the Dremel tool? 
I think we should use the Dremel to yeah. get those off. All right. That is my favorite tool. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll be right back to you. We are back. We have got holes on the front and yes. each side. We're leaving the back because the back is going to be covered with spray foam anyway. Yeah. And um, it'll just keep some strength. You know, it's not super flimsy or anything, but it's definitely, you know, squishier than it was when the sides were intact. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a little uh, firmer when the uh, spray foam and everything is on it, but we'll see. Yes, and we sanded it so it's not super, super sharp. Very good. Yes, indeed. I think before we put the pieces on top, we should go ahead and do the corners of the inside. What do you think? Okay. Okay. That's what it looks like right now. Not much to it. Looks pretty alien. Looks a little like Stranger Things, if you know that show. Uh, well, I know that it is strange. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So why don't you coat the underside of this? Very good. It's expanding nicely. We're going to end up having to trim a few little pieces. Yes. But that's perfectly fine. So we are going to be expanding from this up. Yeah, so this is a nice big shelf piece. Yes. And as we learned with these ones, that we need some support. I think Carter and I are going to work together and try to get this one going. Incredible is in the, the that big room of the bad guys and there's all those weapons along the walls and it's shooting the, the black balls at him and then they expand yeah. and it's super sticky it looks just like that yeah. very cool yeah all right We just got done putting another cool branch over there. Yep. And I think we are going to put our special favorite circle one yep. on there. We're going to put that over on Carter's side. To keep the piece up off of what is right now the bottom, but will be the back, we're going to put that piece there. And then to keep it from falling away from the side wall, we're going to use some, just some blue painter's tape, yes. temporary. And and we're using 100% silicone. It is the clear. Hopefully that'll be. 
be just an extra little bit of security to hold that on. All in all, happy with the way that it's going. We just need to run to the store and grab more cans of expanding foam. Yeah, let's go. We're back from the hardware store with four more cans of great stuff. Yes. Hopefully that'll be enough. Yeah. So everything that we've put in so far looks and feels pretty solid. It's, yeah. it's kind of nice. Uh, we've got this extra one in here. Um, these guys over here are doing good. Yeah. Oh, be careful. <laughs> We're obviously going to be doing some trimming. Uh, but the top of the flower pot right now looks like that. Pretty good. Yeah, so he's got a couple of little things that he can kind of get on. Yeah. Um, that's going to look really good. I think the only thing that I didn't do that I wish I had done already would be to put like some kind of little hollow tube or pipe in this corner so that I could run the power cord you know, up and out the top of the enclosure. So I'm going to have to work that in afterwards with you know, some kind of drill bit or, or something like that. But if you are planning on doing a waterfall or some, some kind of feature like that, that would be good to put in there ahead of time. Yeah. For now, we're just going to add in a few more little pieces and cover this entire back with the foam. Yes. You want to start shaking those next two cans? And yeah. I don't mean birds. Oh, oh. come on, that was funny. I, I just got it. Like cans, two cans. All the gaps are filled, I do believe. All we've got to worry about are those little pieces. Yeah. Sticking them in there.
Um, we got a lot messier than I thought. This is, I think, my sixth pair of gloves. Uh, we ran out of gloves. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we got some on the floor. We got some on the wall. We got some on the doors. Uh, obviously, our hands. I think both of our shirts. Uh, yeah, I don't think I got any on mine. Well, then why is your shirt sticking to itself over there? I think that we did a fantastic job. It was harder than I thought. It took longer than I thought. Um... It's more frustrating than I thought it would be. Yeah. But I think it looks really, really good so far. Yeah. And it's going to look even better once we use silicone on the yeah. back and cover it with some of the substrate and make it look even more natural. Yes. I think the plan was originally to cover more of that left side, but it looks really good the way it is. And yeah. we'll just kind of play with it and, and see what happens. We really appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the journey with us. Thank you for learning with us. And we'll catch you on the next one. All right, Mr. Carter. Yeah? On a scale from one to 10, how successful do you think this process has been today? Well, um, a nine.